In this video, we are going to have a look at how to create a feature service in RJS Online, how to add fields to a feature service, and how to create lists, also known as domains, to a field. Before going to the field, you will need to create an empty feature layer. Navigate to Contents and click on the Create a new folder button within My Contents. Name your folder appropriately. In your new folder, click on the Create button and select Feature Layer. Proceed with Build a Layer and select Points, Lines and Polygons. Select the extent of your fieldwork on the map. Click on Next and give a sensible title to your Feature Layer. In order to have a drop-down list when recording your data on the field like such, you will need to add a new field to your points, lines and polygons and create a list of values also known as a domain. To do this, click on Fields within the Data tab. Then click on Add to add a new field to your dataset. Here you will need to add a field name, which is the name used later in queries, for example, and the display name, which is a more descriptive alias for the user. You will also need to select a field type. Choose date if the field you want to add will contain a date. Double allows you to add numbers with decimals. Integer is a whole number. String is any sequence of characters. If you want to create a list of values for your new field, you need to select string. You will also need to untick allow null values, so you can only choose a value prompted from the list. Continue by clicking on the newly created field, and then click on the Create List button. Populate your list with sensible point features that you will be able to record during your field work. In my case, I will add park assets like trees and statues. Once finished, click on the Save button to go back to the field list. Use the Layer drop-down list on the top left-hand side to select lines and polygons. Do the same steps for the remaining two feature types. To help you decide what kind of domains you will need, think of the purpose of the fieldwork and the features of interest at the location. In this example, we are exploring assets of a nearby park. Thus, rivers and path types make sense for line features and flower beds and greenhouses for polygons.